Today I'm going to put together a very brief tutorial on using MailChimp in order to create an easy email marketing newsletter. So I'm going to start by logging into MailChimp here and showing you how easy it is to create and send your first newsletter using this program. So when you log into MailChimp, the first thing you'll see here is your dashboard. So from the dashboard, you want to come to where it says create a campaign and just create a regular old campaign. They give you lots of different options, but for your first few letters, the regular old campaign is exactly what you need. Once you create your campaign, you'll go into step one, which is your of your campaign builder, which is where you decide which list you want to send it to. If you have multiple lists, this is the time to, to choose which list you want to send this particular campaign to. In this case, I'm setting up the SSS for success newsletter list, so I'm going to send it to that list and then click next. The next step would be to name my campaign and set my tracking uh, preferences for this particular campaign. So I want to choose a name that's internal that I'll remember and then you want to come up with a subject line that's going to be very relevant to the content of your newsletter. But in this case I'm just setting up a sample newsletter so I'm going to call it the sample newsletter and then you can just look through your MailChimp account if you have one to decide which of the other tracking options that you'd like to take advantage of um, in this step of setting up the newsletter. When you click next it's going to take you into the design genius. Now if you already have some newsletters that you've been playing around with they're going to show up under your templates but you can also use some of the pre-designed templates that MailChimp has and they do have a wide array of templates that you can choose from um, for newsletters based on uh, different topics and you can just go through and see if any of those work for you but in order to show you how easy this is I'm actually going to start from scratch and create my own newsletter using their two column with a left sidebar template now you're inside of step three of creating your newsletter and you'll likely start off with a blank black and white template that just has you know some very basic text where you can do um, all that you want to do with it. You can look over here on the right hand side where you can choose your different colors and color themes. There's an option here that lets you get the colors from your website so what MailChimp does is it just pulls the colors from the website that you've stated is associated with your account so you can click that and it'll bring the colors directly over from your website. And if you find that you don't like the colors that come from your website, you can um, choose any of the other, other categories or theme colors that they have along here on the right hand side for choosing the different color options that you want to go with. So I'm going to choose one of the color options from their um, themes here. The nice thing here is that even though I've picked a color theme um, from the choices that they have, I can also customize the theme and change the background color, the header, the body, the sidebar, all parts of the newsletter can actually be changed and the colors can be changed if I don't like what's come up with the particular theme that I chose. So that's where the customization part of this comes in and that's really one of the benefits of this. But I'm going to move through and show you how to add a header to to your uh, newsletter. So you start here at the top where it says add a graphic header. I will choose to design a header and I'm going to put in uh, my logo with a little bit of extra customization. I'm going to choose to upload my own header and then make a few changes to it to make sure that it fits within my template. What will likely happen is that your header will need to be resized because it has to be at a width which is less than 600 uh, megapixels wide. So I like to make mine a little bit smaller um, and then I, I work and make a few changes um, to it in the background color. Once I make my changes, I want to make sure that I, I save and exit. Um, and in doing that, I see that my header is now listed in my newsletter. And then the final stage is just to go through and start adding your text and any images that you have for your newsletter. So here I've made a few changes. I've added some text and some pictures to finish out my newsletter. Then I want to go to my next step and finalize the settings before I send off the campaign. Step four is entering your plain text message, which is just a copy text from your HTML. And step five is where you preview all of your settings and then either click send now or schedule delivery. And that's it. Very simple. 